Yo, 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 guys, Bitcoin Overdose here, your daily dose of crypto overdose. You guys don't have to. If you guys haven't already, go follow your boy at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter, your mom's number one favorite crypto daily news source for pump stumps news and everything in between, guys. I'm your host. And um, most importantly, guys, we're going to be talking about Big Daddy, the king himself, Bitcoin today. He's 50% off, guys. It's Cyber Monday. And then we're also going to be listening to some Infected Mushroom and probably play some Call of Duty later. So if you guys want to stick around for that, we can. But I'm not going to be live for too long tonight. Um, I said the same thing yesterday, guys. I was supposed to be uh, I was supposed to be online for pretty much all night yesterday. And we didn't even we didn't even get to like halfway through the night. But if you guys are over on Periscope, again, you know what to do. Just uh, go ahead, write down below, comment, um, you know, comment something really funny like hey you're bad at your job and i'm gonna be like all right i gotta have i gotta believe you you know i don't really uh i don't know what to do or comment what i would do big dick energy i'm just gonna write that right now and then we're gonna actually go over to youtube and hit the link on that because guys you gotta smash that subscribe button to stay tuned to the latest and greatest crypto pump stumps news and everything in between guys your daily dose of crypto again i overdose you guys can stay safe out there because I don't want you guys dying, really. Um, But anyways, uh, where was I going to go for that? That is the real question, guys. We're going to have to like open up a new tab here, your channel, and then we're going to drag that link over just as we always do. Big dick YouTube energy. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways, I don't even have you guys' chat up. I don't even think that's important right now because what we're going to be talking about, again, is just... uh. I don't even know. Should we talk about Magic Poop Cannon, guys? Should we talk about Magic Poop Cannon? He had just came out, I think it was a day or two ago. Um, this is this is going to be kind of important. I think we're going to actually have to go over this. I didn't really want to, but BTC on the verge of collapse, testing extremely important level as of right now. Um, of course, of course he is, dude. Poop Cannon is actually a G. <laughs> like, um... You know what? Not even gonna lie, Brian. This is like one of the first, uh, this is one of the first videos that blew up on my channel. I think I have like 2k views on it, but it's literally just a, an analysis of him, dude. Um, we can install that later, but it's an analysis of his trading style because I followed him in 2017 and then he got really popular right after the dump because he was like the first bear I saw for a really long time. Um, we saw him have that initial target level of about 1200 off that 20k top he turned bullish he turned bullish at the 3200 mark and then we went to 14k and he turned bearish again so i don't know how he managed to do this i don't know how he managed to time the market that well but dude this this guy's been on top of it and i don't know if it's yeah well let, let's see this let's hold up because this is what i also want to look at i don't i don't know if i see this head and shoulder pattern uh, as clearly as uh, Magic Poop Cannon has here. But if you guys see this right here, we have a head and shoulders pattern, which I don't really clearly see. Um, you know, this is an interesting take, but, but he's right about the level, dude. 7,200 is very, like, if we don't hold in 7,200 range, like, I could definitely see lower levels. But this is, a, this is an interesting downward channel, too. This isn't even an accurate parallel channel. So I don't know how this is going to end up working, but, you know, he's saying that we're testing an extremely important level here, guys. And uh, Bitcoin has two conflicting formations on the chart right now. First, we have a descending wedge, which I guess we can kind of see here. No parallel. I don't know. what I don't know what that's meant to be. And then we also have the uh, the head and shoulders pattern as well on the chart. It's not very clear on the left or the right shoulder, but very large head apparently. 14k, like that mess that we saw, very similar to the 6k drop. I don't know if I see the same thing as he does, but um, you know, that being said, guys, the question is which pattern will prevail. Um, now, guys, I I always thought this was kind of interesting. Um, whenever we saw real head and shoulders patterns, we've always seen Bitcoin break to the upside. I've, I've seen it probably 70% of the time. And usually it's the reverse. You look in like the legacy markets, you're looking at 30% um, chance of rising after a head and shoulders pattern playing out total. So I don't know. Bitcoin's just been like that unique beast. But that is being said in a bull run. So I, I have not seen a head and shoulders pattern yet. And I don't think this is a clear one. 
Um, but I think the level is important, guys. 7270 is probably something that we need to be looking at. And we're barely holding there right now. So I think it is kind of important to uh, take a look at that level at least. That being said, um, you know, right now... Oh, okay, nice. We're not going to be playing Call of Duty tonight. So anyways, um, with that being said, guys, BTC is, an, is testing an extremely important level at this moment. Um, looking at the chart, you can see the neckline at the 61.8% retrace. That would be for the Fibonacci sequence. Um, and the weekly, the 50-week moving average. Guys, this is what we've been looking at. This is what we've been looking at on my channel a lot. Uh, the 50-week moving average, we can pull that up in a second here. But we are barely above that. And we, we got over it with an indecisive weekly candle. So you guys know I'm not that bullish here. Um, but yeah, hold or failure at this line here would likely dictate the direction of the trade for the next few weeks. So we are kind of talking for, you know, a uh, maculate time. But guys, this is something that we looked at yesterday. The MACD is pulling up a bullish formation. It's a bullish divergence right now, um, but nothing too powerful, he says. So it is something of note, but it's just not the only indicator that he's looking at. Um, we talked about that yesterday as well, but yeah, so head and shoulders pattern playing out on the chart. I don't see that. The falling wedge is a possibility though, for sure, favoring the head and shoulders pattern down. However, that range, if the price holds at the neckline, could rally higher. And guys, I, I mean, we could still see 8500 We could still see like an $8,400 Bitcoin. Perfect short, God tier short in my humble opinion. But yeah, we're looking, we're looking at that level. Um, we're still looking at the 7,300 level. If we hold here, guys, I'm pretty confident. Um, that being said, let's see here. Where are we? <laughs> where are we? I will leave you with this. If this head and shoulders breaks down, I'm very confident Bitcoin will fall to 3,000 or lower. In fact, I think 1,200 will be the very real possibility if this head and shoulders breaks down. Obviously, it wouldn't be immediate, but if this pattern breaks down, I think it will be the lead cause of Bitcoin to fall towards 1,200. Now, guys, we could talk about this Probably all day. 1200 would be a very, very hard wick, I think, if we saw anything that low. Um, 1700 is still like my god tier long position. If we get like 1735, I'm taking that without a chance. I'm going to go like heavy down, you know, 20 exit, 30 exit if I have to. Um, we're going to go very, very big. Um, if we get to um, even like 2k like 29 dude 2900 i'm still gonna think wait i don't think we get a weekly close below that but that would be a retest of the 3200 bottom i think that'd be pretty perfect played out simply and plain um you know are we gonna get below 6k like 6k 6000 i don't know um all i know is that we were looking or earlier i was looking at this guy zcash zach news guys this is this is kind of important um okay so so zach news guys um they have said something about and let's see if we can oh wait there's a monero hard fork coming Ooh, new asic mining algorithm guys Ooh. anyways we had minor capitulation today on zach so this is kind of um something we haven't seen for a while i guess on uh um, many other altcoins like usually altcoins have been either already capitulated on on you know uh those miners or they've been kind of just mining at a really low output and they haven't really done anything they haven't turned on or off um but this is kind of important on zach because zach has seen 700 dollars basically and now we're below 30 and we still have negative news coming out for it so just absolutely awful. Um, I think it was Crypto who made a video on it, but Zach Miner capitulation. We could capitulation. Oh my god. Oh my. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna. This is live. I can't. I can't do anything. Anyways, smash your mom number one to one, dude, every day. But um, fundamental flaw in Mimble Wimble, guys. So this is something that's going to affect Bitcoin eventually as well. Um, you know, it looks like Grin, dude. I remember Grin when that first came out. Everybody was talking that. Um, Coinbase tweaks Bitcoin and altcoin confirmation times. Uh, Zcash 
company finally transferred its trademark to Zcash Foundation. So there's still news. There's still news, whatever. I can't find the exact article, but all I can tell you right now is that that is a very, very real thing. Um, minor capitulation, guys, is a big problem. And I think we're not thinking this about Bitcoin enough. Um, I, I remember reading this in 2017, believe it or not. But there was a very big problem with Bitcoin not growing fast enough with the price. Like, you know, there would be not enough miners to support the entire network. And it's kind of nuts to see that this might have been the case all along in Bitcoin's regret. Like this, this whole drop down from 80% from the top um, might have actually been caused by not enough market growth. Because we still have miners capitulating. And yeah, hey, fundamentals might not mean shit, but they do mean shit. So, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you can read TA all day, but nobody can expect these like 40% pumps, right? Like 7,300 to 10K. Like nobody fucking saw that shit. Nobody saw that shit, dude. Nobody in any of their world would have seen that that pump, right? So that's not really fundamental. It's just it's the market cap is so low right now that it's almost criminal. And you should probably get that while it's fifty percent off on Cyber Monday. Guys, Bitcoin overdose here though. Your daily dose of crypto overdose. So you guys don't have to definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin overdose on Twitter. Your mom's number one favorite crypto daily news source, and then definitely smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to stay up to date no i have not heard of cctv but that's only because it's trash anyways um uh actually it might be good i don't know is that the one that like ani always hates i have no idea but anyways um guys i'll i'll stick around with the live stream a little bit longer here but i am going to close this video up for youtube so we're going to stop recording and then we're going to go into actual content i guess like usually it's something better anyways but, um, you know, go over to Twitch right now. Go hit that follow button over there. Like, that's right in the YouTube profile. All you have to do is Bitcoin overdose on Twitch. And, uh, yeah, you guys will follow me over here. And we're usually more in contact here. We also got a Discord down here as well. But, um, yeah, definitely time to, uh, to do whatever it is. But stay out of school and definitely do drugs. No, I'm absolutely kidding, guys. Stay in school. Only you can prevent forest fires. Definitely don't do drugs. Look both ways before crossing the street. And definitely, definitely wear a helmet if you do go outside. But most importantly, guys, buy Bitcoin and chill. Yeah, now it's time to get high.